most of the stuff we go to, people are running away. <laughs> We're just like going right in the middle of it. Um, I mean, I've been to like two or three active shooters, and um, you're just kind of running, literally running at people shooting at the cops, and the cops are shooting back, and you're just like, oh, and all you're thinking about is, hey, I gotta get my shot. I gotta get a good shot. You know, I mean, that you definitely have to be a little out there to not. It's not so much not care, because like, yeah, I want to go home at the end of the night. Like, I know I'm going to go home. Like, that's my job. That's number one job, is to go home. Um, but, yeah, you have to be you have to be a little out there to get involved in this world and to do well at it and to remain professional and not let it get to you. I mean, there's so many different, there's so many different forces kind of pulling, you know, pulling you one direction to the other. And you need to just kind of focus on the job at hand and just, just remain as professional as possible. You know, I get a lot of people ask me what stories kind of stand out. There's a lot. I mean, you put 20 plus years, there's a lot of action that I've been on. And there's a lot of stuff that, you know, you really think about it and you're like, oh, wow, wow, how did this happen? And there's a lot of, you know, stories out there that they kind of stick out. Like years ago, I was on the 5 Freeway in Valley View in Santa Fe Springs. And I got on scene before the fire department and CHP. It was a big rig uh, cab burning. And the guy was hanging out the window, uh, burning to death, screaming. There was nothing I could do. Um, I just felt so bad for the guy. Because, um, you know, sometimes, you know, we get on scene before everybody else. There was literally nothing I could do. And I wasn't going to film that guy hanging out screaming. And uh, it was crazy. It was a crazy night. I have been at scenes where they've shot people, where people have been burned alive, where people have been just maimed. I've been at scenes where people have been in pain, where dudes' legs have been blown off by other cars and things like that, where people are under, are under incredible pain. If you couldn't make it in this world, it'll spit you out so violently that you wish you'd never started.